MS002, test bench for testing starters and alternators under the load up to 200 amperes. The equipment set includes user manual, wires to connect to alternators outputs, fuses. The test bench simulates real operation condition of the unit. That is why it provides connection of two automotive batteries. Observe polarity when connecting. Put the batteries into a special compartment. When the cover panel of the maintenance compartment is opened, there is an access to the internal components for their cleaning and servicing. The test bench is supplied with a limit switch, an indicator of unclosed cover panel. If the panel is left open, the limit switch goes on and in this case it is impossible to start the engine of the test bench. It is also an emergency switch off in its construction for safety reasons. The test bench is supplied with a tilt adjustable control panel. The control panel with the built-in LCD display and adjustment knobs and buttons is used to operate the test bench. Terminals for connection of voltage regulators are located below the control panel, along with the encoders for drive rotation speed regulation load adjustment and voltage setting. The encoders can be either rotated or used as buttons. The test bench is equipped with an emergency button for rapid response to urgent situations and emergency power off. Let's get to the alternator diagnostics. Install the alternator on the mounting face and fix it tightly with the chain. Two types of belts, V-belt and poly-V-belt, are provided in the bench construction for different pulley types. Check the belt tension by hand. Connect the power cables and the control cable to the alternator. The test bench won't allow to start the engine until the safety cover is closed. Activate the testing mode to start testing. Voltage generated by the alternator as well as direct and alternative current values will be displayed on the screen. The alternator will start generating voltage only when its rotation speed is equal to the engine idling speed. The following parameters will be read when testing the alternator with COM terminal. Protocol, generating voltage, set voltage, alternating and constant current, drive rotation, errors of a voltage regulator. The required voltage can be set with the GC regulator. Alternative current is a very important parameter when testing the alternator. 
a standard AC value should comprise 5% from the DC value. Upon test finishing, reset the parameters by pressing the encoders. Deactivate the testing mode. The test bench enables to test the voltage regulator separately from the alternator. To do this, the real operation of the alternator in the car should be simulated and the voltage regulator readings should be taken. The test bench is equipped with all the necessary terminals for the purpose. Press the button to activate the voltage regulator testing mode. And select the appropriate protocol. The following parameters will be displayed. Protocol, voltage generated by the voltage regulator, driving voltage, voltage regulator ID, Voltage Regulator Errors Voltage set for the voltage regulator can be changed with GC regulator. Now we can conclude that the voltage regulator is faultless. Upon the test finishing, deactivate the testing mode. To test the starter, put it on the test bench and tighten with the chain. To test the solenoid starter, connect the power cable negative and the control cable to the starter. We haven't connected the power cable positive for testing the solenoid. Activate the starter solenoid by pressing red start button. For the end-to-end -end check of the starter, connect the power cable positive. Press Start for activation.
observe the test bench readings. On test finishing, deactivate the testing mode.